Hello, everyone. I'm Stephen West. This is Philosophize This. You may have heard by now that Simone Weil, quite famously, was not a big fan of discussions about human rights. But that statement in itself is kind of misleading. I want to offer a bit of context as to where she's coming from there. Simone Weil is living during World War II. And understandably, when people hear about what's being done to people in the war out there, there's a lot of talk that starts going on about human rights. Should there be lines that nobody ever crosses? Should there be a baseline of human dignity that we can quantify, that everybody gets regardless of what side of the battlefield you're on? Seems like a noble pursuit. Well, just like with the abstract philosophical discussion, it's not that Simone Weil thought there was no room for conversations like this. I'm sure she'd say, go ahead, chisel into stone the standard for human rights. But she'd say, isn't that in some ridiculous way missing the point of why we care about these human rights in the first place? First of all, she would say, write these human rights down on a piece of paper all you want, but the next Hitler that comes along isn't going to honor them. Anyone willing to invade a country like that isn't going to care about your little convention that you had or the letter that you're going to send them telling them how mad you are at them. It's like having your criminal justice strategy be that when someone breaks the law, now nah, we'll just have them sign a contract saying they won't be a criminal anymore. Secondly, you know, in our modern societies, we think so much in terms of law and economics that we think that if we just write this stuff down and shake hands on it and make a deal, that we're doing something about it. But Simone Weil would say all you're really doing is transcribing human dignity into the language of commerce and law. And that's missing the point. She gives a great example in one of her journals. She says, imagine a farmer who goes down to the farmer's market every weekend to sell his eggs. The eggs are $4.99 a dozen. Customer comes up to him and says, hey, look, I'm only going to give you $1.99 a dozen. Farmer says, uh, no, you're not. They're $4.99 a dozen. Customer says, why do you think you can just charge $4.99 a dozen? Farmer says, because that's my right. I have the right to charge as much as I want for them. And I have the right to go out of business if people don't like it. All of this makes sense in the context of a farmer's market and commerce. But then Simone Weil says, contrast that example with someone who forces a woman into prostitution. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that 100% of people listening to this would find that to be wrong. And if I were to ask you why it was wrong, would you say back, well, it's wrong because it's that woman's right to not be a prostitute if she wants to. She has a right to choose other courses of action in her life. It's like, no. No. No, that is ludicrous, Simone Weil writes in her journal. The idea that that's the reason why it's wrong? No, obviously, we all know the reason it's wrong is something far deeper than just her legal rights, something much more universal. This isn't a farmer selling his eggs anymore. This woman's very personhood is being robbed from her. This is why Simone Weil didn't hate human rights by any means. She just preferred to talk about human needs rather than human rights. Rights are legalistic and commercial. Needs recognize that there's something deeper here, that there's an underlying moral obligation that we have to our fellow human beings. 